Hello, welcome everybody. It's me, KB. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some Windows 10 settings that you should turn off right now. So some of these settings are related to your privacy and some of these settings will actually help you to boost the performance of your Windows 10 PC. So yeah, this is a pro tip from a pro Windows 10 user. Obviously, that's me, KB, okay? <laughs> so now let's begin. I don't want to take a long time, okay? This will be quick and easy tip for you guys, okay? So I know normal people never tries to do changes in their PC, but for now, at least for this video, please trust me, open up your Windows settings. And uh, I know there are so many settings that you don't want to look at because this is too much. If you go in one setting there are so many okay but what i want you to do is just go under the privacy section this is the most important thing and inside you can turn off many things many useless settings so now just follow me okay click on the privacy and uh, let's begin the process of turning off some useless settings in windows 10 okay so first we have the windows permission and in general tab turn off everything and i'm hoping that you're very intelligent and you can read all of the description about the settings that you're about to turn off okay so uh, these settings will not harm your pc okay as i said you're very intelligent you can read the description of that that setting and you will know what's happening okay so turn off everything in general tab okay in speech i don't use cortana just in case if you use cortana or anything related to speech then uh, you may want to turn it on but i don't even use cortana so i don't want the online speech recognition thingy okay so i turn it off inking and personalization i turn it off diagnostics and feedback so this is a little bit of a scary part of windows so the thing is that we cannot completely turn off the diagnostics and feedbacks here uh, because there is no option but we can minimize the data what our pc sends to the microsoft so by default it will be set to full by setting it to full you can see it says here send all basic diagnostic data along with info about website you browse and how you use applications and features <sighs> i don't want to read i said you're very intelligent so it will send the information about you and your activity to microsoft okay so they are collecting the data so you can't turn it off but you can set it to basic by setting it to the basic it will send only small amount of your device info okay so just set it to basic wish we had a uh, uh, completely turning off setting but we don't but at least we can minimize it by default as i said it's set, set to full and you can read what happens if we set it to full it will send you the browsing activities too so you don't want that to happen so yeah just set it to basic and after that turn off everything whatever you see here okay and there is a delete diagnostic data section here you can actually delete the data of your diagnostics and feedback whatever you have so the feedback frequency is for microsoft asking you the feedback for a certain feature of windows 10 they will send you the notification such as what do you think about windows 10's this feature or that feature okay so i have set it to never so they will never send me that notification but if you're feeling very kind you want to give a feedback to microsoft then you can set it to automatic or maybe always daily week something like that but i don't want to get notifications so i set it to never next activity history this is also very important Thing you need to turn off you can see store my activity history on this device send my activity history to microsoft really you want to do that just turn it off by default it will be turned on just turn it off both of them just below that we have show activities from these accounts so obviously it will show you your microsoft account linked 
to your Windows 10 PC. Just in front of that, you will see turn on off option. By default, it will be turned on. So turn it off. And if you wish to clear your activity history for, for your account, then click on clear and clear the history. So once you turn off everything in here, it won't store your history in your Windows computer and plus it won't send your activity history to Microsoft. So you just do it once and you'll be good to go. So next section, we have the app permissions. So here it's basically a permissions from location, camera, microphone, all that, whether you want to give a certain permission to a application or not, for example, location. So if you turn it on, okay, location permission. So any applications can use your location, okay? So I don't use map, uh, Microsoft map or anything like that. So I turn off the location permission because I don't use maps, okay? I have my phone, I can use it there. It's very easy to understand. So we have to go very fast here. So same thing for camera. If you want to allow the access of your camera to application, then you can turn it on off. So if you want to use a camera application, you should turn it on. If you don't use a camera in your PC, then turn it off. Same thing for microphone, voice activation. So I, as I said, I don't use Cortana or I don't use any voice activation thingy. So I keep it turned off. So notifications. You want to give the notification access to other application or not account info same thing contacts calendar phones same these are the permissions that other application can access or not okay so you can turn them on off depending on your on your need okay so email tasks messaging radio such as the Bluetooth and all that. So if you use the wireless devices like mouse and all that, maybe you want to turn it on. Background apps. So here we have to slow down our horses because this is very important. So by turning off this section, we can actually help our Windows 10 to breathe a little bit more fresh air because, you know, by default it will be turned on by the name you can tell that background apps which means all these applications will run in background and use your cpu and ram so you don't want that to happen okay so i keep this turn off and it will turn off everything but if there is an application like certain application you want to have in background then you turn it on like that and after that just individually choose which application you want to turn on off okay so you can choose that but i don't want any applications to run in background so i keep them turned off all of them apps and diagnostics same this is a permission automatic file downloads so i don't use onedrive i uninstalled it so if you use onedrive you can choose whether onedrive can download the files to your uh, hard drive automatically so you can allow disallow so i don't use so it's grayed out option so documents same thing pictures whether you want to give the permission to a application to access the pictures such as you can see if you use paint 3d application you can allow this application to access your pictures or not just like that very simple to understand okay so videos same thing file system same thing okay we are done in privacy section and uh, as i said you're very intelligent you can read the description of the setting that you are about to turn off so you'll know whether it's useful or unuseful thingy okay so based on that you turn it on off okay so most important things were background apps uh and all the windows permission general speech diagnostics and activity history and others are just permissions hope you got it okay you're very intelligent i hope you got it okay so now let's go back so now let's go to the gaming tab here if you use a xbox game bar to record your gameplay then you can turn it on but if you don't actually 
almost nobody uses this so people use like such as the obs or something like that obs works 100 times better than any other recording software or application so i don't use it so i keep it turned off but if you keep this turned on even though you don't use it it will run in background and it will use little bit of your cpu and ram so that's that if you don't use it just turn off and let's go to the apps section here you know whenever you fresh install a windows 10 you know there are so many bloatwares like candy crush maybe microsoft news maybe microsoft office maybe other applications pre-installed so those are the bloatwares so going into the apps section here you can uninstall all those bloatwares so i uninstalled a microsoft onedrive candy crush games and all that so here you can uninstall the bloatwares of windows 10 some some cannot be uninstalled for example maps i don't use maps of microsoft so there is no option to uninstall because this is grayed out but there are so many things you can actually uninstall for example mail if you don't use the mail and calendar you can uninstall it but sadly i use mail application okay so i don't want to uninstall this but if you don't you can uninstall this and you can free up lots of storage and uh, what else we have okay system settings okay go to the systems and go to the notifications and actions so i also turn off this because there is a tiny problem with this okay it's uh, all about you know let me give you a small example if i turn this on by default it will be like this okay if you can try to turn off these okay and these or maybe you want to turn off everything at once here you can see this is the list of applications and softwares which can send us the notifications but this is incomplete okay so what i want to explain you guys is that for example let's say i use fdm download manager okay let it open okay so let's say i downloaded some file once the download is completed it will send me the notification here saying that your download is done yeah if i have turned on this but i want to select a individual uh, softwares which can send us the notification like maybe fdm obs or something like that but uh, you can see there is no list other applications will get listed once they send us the notification once then it, they will get listed here but otherwise they won't get listed so i'm not here to wait for the application to send me a notification then turn off the notification for that application so instead what i do is turn off this completely and this is a personal thingy okay if you want to receive a notifications from other applications then you should turn it on but uh, i don't want because i don't have a freedom to choose whether this application can send me a notification or not because the list is not complete okay this feature is not that great in my opinion because we should have a list of all the softwares and apps which can send us a notification and then we can choose individually which app can send us a notification so that's not happening as of now so i keep everything turned off and uh, i think that's it so these are the settings that you should change at least if even if you don't turn off as i said you are very intelligent you can read the description of all these settings and decide whether you want to turn off or on hope you enjoyed it and uh, recently we got the windows 10 2004 update so if you want to learn how to download a windows 10 latest iso directly without using a media creation tool from official site then i will put link in the description for my site from there you can learn how to get the latest iso directly from official site so you can go there yeah and have fun and i did the clean install of windows 10 2004 
as always as i do that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye